So boys, in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how, if I was to start from scratch right now, how would I build a 10K a month business by summer this year? I've already done this once. Last year is the year that I decided to go all in with my own online business. And by summer, I'd already made multiple 10K a months. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly, if I had to start again, had to do it all over again, what would I do? Um, this is just like a little screenshot for some proof. Went all in on my business January last year. And by August, I'd already made my first 25K a month. You can see here $17,666 in Stripe. And then I also have PayPal and bank transfer. In total, this was a 25K a month. And this is exactly how I would do it if I had to start all over again. So boys, I, of course, there is a million different ways to make money online. A million different ways to make money in the market. It's a little bit of a headache seeing a million people say a million different things it's very confusing i understand <laughs> some of these different business models require luck some of them require like a lot of time a lot of money some of them are much harder to start than the gurus actually make out and then some of them are actually pretty straightforward they work pretty well but the job itself is just shit um an example of this is like for me an example of something that's pretty straightforward to start making money online, but the work itself is just shit, is appointment setting and high ticket closing, to be honest. Like, it's not, appointment setting is not that bad because you've sort of got that freedom there where you can move around whilst you're working, blah, blah, blah. But it's still a pretty tedious job, right? It's not the most fun thing in the world. A lot of people watching this video right now, um, maybe it's alpha setters, maybe it's just, you know, guys that are just getting into closing or setting. You'll understand very quickly that setting is not the dream life that you want to live probably you probably don't want to be working for someone else for the rest of your life just earning 10 percent commission that's not the dream right the dream is to build your own empire your own business where you can keep all of the profits for yourself the goal isn't just to make 5k a month as a setup the goal is to actually provide true financial freedom for yourself and for your family closing as well closing Pretty straightforward to get into, pretty straight, straightforward to make money, but the work itself is so shit because what are you doing as a high tech closer? You're just sat in, in your office, your own personal office, taking Zoom calls all day long, like some NPC, just taking call after call after call. There's a million different ways to make money. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about choosing the one that you think is best for you. But 100%, like I don't even have to think about it, the 100% the model that I would definitely go all in on in 2024 and I think this is going to be a lot bigger in 2024 as well. I'd go all in on the growth CEO model. Now, this can be an agency offer or a consulting offer. And basically, the growth CEO model, all that means is you are going to start a business that's going to help another business grow. That's the point. That's the point of your business. Because if someone's going to hire like an agency of some sort or a consultant of some sort, the reason why they're hiring these people is because they want to grow the business, right? That's their vision. They want to make more money or they want to get to the next milestone. A business that's not growing is quite a big pain point. They're going to lose investors. They're going to lose customers. They're going to feel like they're like um, the opposite of making progress in life. They're going to feel like they're going backwards and that's quite a soul-crushing feeling. The people have got a very clear pain point that they're trying to solve because they want to grow the business and that's where you're going to come in and help them with just a couple of areas of the business in order to help them scale. There's loads of different things that you can help them with and you don't have to be some sort of business expert to be able to pull this off. All you need is just a couple of skills in a couple of different areas, even if it's just one area. Some of the areas that I've highlighted here, like there's loads of different things that you can help people with. But if you can help someone with their marketing, their lead generation, their appointment setting, their data management, their lead nurture, their personal branding, their sales process, their sales team, or just help them with their closing. Like if you can do one of these things, if you can just help optimize a few little things, then this can be the difference between like a lot of money in the business. Let's say they're doing 100K a month. If you come in and just help them build a little bit of a better sales team, that could literally like be the difference between them making 100K a month and like 130K a month. That's 30K a month's worth of value you've just provided. If you've just helped them make an extra 30K a month, just because you've got a little bit of experience in managing a sales team, do you think that they'd be willing to pay you 3K a month, 10% of that? 3K a month? 6K a month? <laughs> you know? It's like, it's not that hard to make money. It's just about um, it's just about leveraging the skills that you already have. 
Everyone watching this video will know something. And if you don't know something, you can probably learn something by the end of the week to do with one of these things. You know, in Sales to CEO, I, I teach a very clear funnel that you can actually help your clients get set up with in order to help them make more money. Like, if you don't have any skills at all to help with any of these things, which I highly doubt, it's not difficult to learn things. All you have to be in order to offer a, a business, in order to have a business like this where you're going to help someone else grow, you just need to be one step ahead of them. You just need to know a little bit of something that they don't know and you can learn. Because realistically, as a business owner, I know full well that, you know, if I'm struggling with like um, marketing, I'm, I don't tend to just go on Google and start doing research for five hours about how to do better at marketing. Sort of just trial and error it or I'll ask my boys to see if anyone else knows something. Post on my Instagram story. So if you can just take the time to just do, go do a little bit of research about one of these areas that you think a business would be struggling with and you can help them with that then this is how you can literally charge thousands and thousands of pounds per month as a business owner. If you can go into a business and help someone improve on one or more of these areas, then that could help the business literally make tens or hundreds of thousands of pounds per year. An example here, if they are currently at 10k a month and you help them get to 20k a month, you've just helped them go from 120 grand a year to 240 grand a year. If you make some very small changes in their business, that's going to help them make an extra £120,000 a year, more dollars, but do you think that they would be willing to pay you at least 24 k of that? You've made them, help them make 120 k do you think that they would pay you at least 24 Do you think they'd be open to that? Okay, hey bro, I'm talking to you watching this video right now, hey bro, if you can find a way to get the funds together right now and give me 24 k I'm going to help you make 120 guaranteed. What are you going to do? You're going to go ask a family member. You're going to go get a loan. You're going to go sell your car because it's like, yeah, sure, why not? If you guarantee, you get that in writing, get that in paper. If, you, if I give you 24K right now, you're going to make me 120. Why not? Right. Um, and that is literally the principle that I use to, to build my six-figure business. That is the growth CEO model. You're going to help them make more money and they're going to pay you a lot of money to do that service. 24K for a year, that's 2K a month. If you're going to make, help them make an extra 120k a year, they're going to pay you 2k a month, right? <laughs> no problem. You provide big boy value in order to make big boy money. And that's how this whole model works. Instead of just working as a sales rep, as a closer, you're not really providing value to the market as a closer. Because anyone can do that. You're a commodity. A closer is a commodity. Because even though, yes, good closers might be somewhat hard to come by, there is a lot of good closers out there. And you can always just keep training more good closers. But by starting up your own business... And actually helping them grow the business rather than just one small area. This is how you literally make yourself irreplaceable to the market. Because you're providing so much so much value. That is why entrepreneurs are the most high earning people in the world. You know, you think footballers get paid a lot of money. But like, what footballer money is nothing compared to business owner money, right? The richest people in the world are all business owners. Why? Because you are providing more value to the market. If you truly want financial freedom... You need to find a way to increase your value. That's why you're starting a business. And the best part about the growth CEO model is that you do not need to deal with like saturated markets. You know, SMMA, you've heard of this a million times, right? You've heard of SMMA or copywriting agency or short form content agency, info growth, info product growth agency, appointment setting agency, sales agency. Like you're no longer one of these like really, really saturated niches. Because you are just your own niche. As a growth agency, you're not just another growth agency. What your business looks like as a growth agency might be completely different to what mine looks like. It might be a completely different offer because like we said before, you're building the business around just providing little bits of value here and there. Like what, what are the skills that you already have? You're going to build your offer around your unique skills. Your offer is unique and built around your skill set. You are literally a one of one offer. There's no other offer exactly like yours. And as long as you can promise the market what the market actually wants, people are going to be more than happy to aggressively throw money at your face. As long as your offer is built around you and your skills, if you work in sales, you've got a sales background and you can help them with their sales process and their sales team. That's still, that's a growth agency because you're still going to help them grow their business. You're going to promise them that it's going to grow their business, but the offer is built around you. It's your offer. 
And because you are promising that, okay, as a result of me doing this in your business, your business is going to grow. That is why it's a growth agency. And that is why this is the best model right now in the market. What do businesses want? They want to grow. Businesses don't want Facebook ads. They don't want short from content. They don't want appointments set. They want to grow. They want to make more money. And in order to build a business that you truly love, it must be built around you. The, like, oh yeah, okay, all the old school business models, the, the old school shit. Okay, I suppose that like, you don't really build a business because you love it. You're just building a business around providing value to the market. But like in the future of entrepreneurship, these are sort of online businesses, these solopreneurs where it's just sort of a very small team of individuals living this lifestyle, you need to love what you do because when you are truly aligned with your work, you will always find a way to make it work. This is like the evolution of entrepreneurship, the next generation. So in order to actually build out this uh, 10KM of growth agency, how do we get there? What do we need to do? Now, of course, in order to make 10K a month, you need people to pay you. That money's not going to print itself. They need to be paying you. So how do we actually get people to pay you? Now, there's a million different ways of actually acquiring new customers from cold calls, paid ads, cold outreach, organic content, network marketing. There's loads of different ways to go about it. But here's exactly what I would do if I had to start from scratch. Now, I wish for start, I started building my personal brand way sooner than I did. My YouTube, I think I started that in around spring. And my Instagram, like that's that's a new thing, man. That's, that's only been like two months, maybe. Um, I wish I started building out my personal brand a lot sooner because it really does help build trust and authority in your niche. When you give away tons of free value, then this is going to help sort of highlight. Uh, it's going to help highlight how good your paid stuff must be. If I'm here on YouTube giving away incredible amounts of source on YouTube, had a couple of comments like there's no, like this should be, you should be charging for this stuff, bro. If I'm giving an incredible amount of source away on YouTube, imagine if you pay me, you want to pay me money, imagine how saucy that stuff's going to be, right? So free value helps highlight, um, how, it helps highlight how good your paid stuff will be. And just because you're creating a personal brand as well, doesn't necessarily mean, mean you've got to like create videos like this get on camera every day. Like you could just make a Twitter account. Okay, it's got your profile pictures, your face, and you're just writing every day. That's still creating a personal brand. That's still putting content out into the market to help give you that level of credibility. So personal branding, 100%, that's where I'd start. I'd start by posting content on Instagram and YouTube specifically, but the social media platforms that you choose should be built around you. Like, okay, like how do you want to build your personal brand? And what niche are you targeting? If you're targeting, you know, every, every day, like um, if you're targeting like beginner agencies or something like that, then Instagram, okay, that's a great place to find people. If you're targeting, let's say, um, lawyers or something like that, okay, well, maybe you'd be better building a personal brand on LinkedIn. Build your personal brand around you and your target audience. And then second of all, I've like, once that, you know, I'm going to be posting content on Instagram and YouTube and then as well, the second thing that I'm going to be doing to attract customers into the business is I'm going to be doing cold DM outreach every single day on Instagram, whether it's emails, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever it is. Me personally, um, probably I'd be doing Instagram and LinkedIn. I'd be doing cold DM outreach to my niche every single day and leveraging the content that I'm creating in order to educate and nurture my market. Content is like puts, content puts, cold DM outreach on easy, easy mode because it's like you're not you're no longer just a, some weird random stranger DMing them wanting to take their money it's like you're some random stranger that's actually just came and gave them a lot of free value and now they trust you and now they want to know more so I'll definitely do cold DM outreach leveraging the content if you don't have content then I'd make I'd recommend at least making a VSL that you can send to these people and yeah um, if you do cold outreach every single day Get these two things dialed in. Super straightforward to get to 10k a month. Again, um, by summer, I'd made a 25k a month. And I, again, I didn't have an Instagram back then that was doing really well. Uh, I started my YouTube channel in spring. And my YouTube channel was terrible back then as well. It's like, if you can just get these two things dialed in, like making 10k a month is like the easiest thing ever, to be honest. But I wish I could just take my 
mindset but of how easy 10k a month is and just give it to you bro because the main thing that stop that the main thing holding you back from getting to 10k a month is just the belief that it's difficult because it's not difficult at all depending on your offer 10k a month can be hit with literally one to five clients probably like i'd say like probably like two or three clients is 10k a month with this sort of growth agency offer but it just depends on your pricing are you doing build and release are you doing rev shares um are you doing retainer plus commission like what what it depends on your offer but let's pretend that let's pretend that it takes five clients to get to 10k a month let's just pretend that your service is two thousand dollars a month full stop i like to map out all of my goals into 16 week periods so let's say that every 16 weeks you need to five sign five new clients in order to hit your goal of 10k a month so every single client is paying you two thousand dollars a month let's say every 16 weeks that client falls off churn they're gone that means every 16 weeks you need to keep signing five new clients and if you as long as you keep on signing five new clients every 10k a month uh, every 16 weeks then this will give you consistent 10k a month so you know after after three weeks after, that's that's one client every three weeks by the way to make that happen so after three weeks you're at 2k a month after six weeks after six weeks you're at 4k a month after nine weeks you're at 6k a month after 12 weeks you're at 8k a month and after 15 weeks you're at 10k a month cool so one client every three weeks let's break that down let's say that you do 100 dms a day that's that's literally an hour an hour okay it's not an hour's work but let's say that's two hours work to send 100 dms per day 700 cold dms per week 140 of those reply super super easy numbers as well like i'm just pretending that you're going to be a little bit bad your response rate is not going to be the best so out of 700 messages 140 reply so that's 20 percent of those people actually reply to you and then five percent of those book a call 700 cold dms 140 replies seven of those book a call you're telling me if you're booking seven calls every single week you're not going to sign at least one client every three weeks it's pretty unreasonable not to right as long as you just stay disciplined and get the inputs done every single day and you track your business like a professional, then 10K a month by summer is like is that simple. I've just mapped it out for you. Just do follow this step by step, exactly this, pretty straightforward. In order to attract dream customers into your business, you need to build systems and stay consistent with the inputs. So the systems are just going to be, okay, you're doing your outreach every single day, you're tracking it all in your CRM, and you've got your CRM system there and you've got a system behind it to remind you to do regular follow-ups. That's that's it. As long as you can stay disciplined to that, 10K a month by summer. No problem, bro. Cold outreach, free value to the slash VSL to sales call. That's literally just the funnel that you're going to be using. No rocket science, nothing crazy. That's the funnel. You're doing cold outreach, VSL, sales call, boom, that's it, closed. Maybe like a triage call, but that's optional. In order to really make this work, you must track your data, split test different opening messages and add every single lead into the CRM to make sure that you're following up and maximizing leads. The data does not lie. You need the data there to tell you what works and what doesn't work. Otherwise, you are running your business like an amateur. If you do not have the numbers there, then you like, how are you going to know what the bottlenecks in your business are? Unless you know that, okay, my response rate is 2%. And my closing rate is 100%. Okay, there's nothing wrong with your closing rate, but your response rate is terrible, so you need to make a new opening message. Unless you've got the numbers there to tell you, how would you know? You wouldn't know. So it's really important to have a good CRM system in place. This is like the first thing that I drill into my clients' heads, like CRM. You better get in the habit of doing this every single day, updating this every single day. My setters go through this. My clients go through this. Here's the CRM sheet. I want to see it. I want access to the CRM sheet so that I can literally see you putting it in every single day. Otherwise, there's going to be a problem because this is how to make sure that you're running your business like a professional. If you know your numbers, then it's very hard to fail because you know the bottlenecks. You know what you need to work on. As long as you do all this, you're going to make 10k a month. And once you have executed on this initial 16-week plan, now it's time to analyze the numbers and start dialing in on your systems. This, at this point, this is when you can start to hire talent. Help people, you can hire people to help with the client delivery. 
You can help hire people to help you with the personal branding, like an editor, creative director. You can. This is when you can start to build your empire on top of the foundation that you have just created. Once you're at Take Care Month, you've got money to play with. You've got some cash flow coming in so that you can reinvest back into the business. You've got all of your numbers there. You've got 16, worth, 16 weeks worth of data for you to go and analyze and make improvements. This is, how, this is when you can really start to have fun with the business. The initial period of starting the business can be a little bit of a grind, but it's a necessary grind that we've all got to go, to, go through. But once you're making 25k a month, is the, is the grind going to be worth it? Probably, right? Probably. So yeah, this is, my, this, is my, this is how I would start from scratch. The growth CEO model. If you are interested in um, me helping you get to this point, me helping you build your own six-figure business by the end of the year, then DM me on Instagram, you know the drill. And as always, boys, keep grinding.